have to um, retrieve from some things that we're doing to see what is working, what is not working, and to live and, and improve and see what is going on with our lives, right? Sometimes we need to really uh, retrieve and understand um, and acknowledge and re-evaluate the things that we're doing in life and what is really being meaningful or what is that is it that we really want. So today I had this idea in the morning um, that I want to share with you and there is a significance when I receive these messages because maybe you need to receive this message too. So I'm a receiver and a messenger and that is how I see my coaching um, I open myself to the universe, to spirituality, to learn more about me. And in doing that, I open my way through you so I can speak through the Lord or I can speak through the universe or to that energy force to bring you some messages. So welcome, welcome. I want to see where you're joining me from. Have you joining me live? I know I came unadvertised, but... Sometimes spontaneity is better and um, surprises are good. I don't know if you like surprises. I do like surprises, good surprises and happy surprises, not uh, sad surprises, right? But I think everything happens for a reason and everything happens for us and not to us. So if you're joining me live, let me know on the chat and um, that's your life. Do hashtag life. And if you're joining me uh, on the replay, also Hashtag, do hashtag replay so I know that you're here and that you're listening and that my message is coming across to you. So every morning I, actually every night I prepare my night and I give thanks to the things that I've been learning or the things that the people, the conversations that I had and I have made this a habit. Yesterday I had like a busy day, but you know those busy days that you don't feel that you have planted a seed yet, that you have not feeling fulfilled. And my purpose of each day is to do something, something that is meaningful for somebody else. And that really fills my heart and that is fulfilling, that fulfills me and takes me to feel satisfied with my day. I think that um, many times we are in... Uh, menopause of blood transitions or we're mothers we're busy 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 doing our business creating our business or doing the business of life uh, and growing our children but we forget that if we are aware and we are present to the things then we can bring so much more juice to life and more joy to life it is on us. It's a decision that we get to make every single day of our lives to really appreciate and to be really present to this life. We have an opportunity to live and to impact others. And what we do with every day matters and it matters more than you think. So you know how um, we need to create these new habits. And those are the habits that I help you in my coaching to create that consistency and to that create that awareness that lifts up your spirit, that lifts up your joy, your motivation and inspiration to live every day fully. We do not have tomorrow guaranteed. We're coming to a season of joy. We're coming to a season of holiday season. We want to really be present to our loved ones, to ourselves, to enjoy these moments, right? But we sometimes are just dragging or just thinking about buying the gifts for so and so and so and so to for what to be so that they can say thank you and just being remembered but it is more of the present that you bring towards this gift that you're making sometimes a more meaningful gift is a, a meaningful gift that you create with your own hands that you might make or that you voice even your voice or your note and guilty of that i like to receive handwritten notes but i'm just saying all these because we can do what we do every day matters and when you do something that is really fulfilling um, that allows you to rest in peace for the night and that is healing for the body so it's so beautiful to go to bed and say thank you this was really a satisfying day 
So for example, yesterday I was feeling, I was telling you, I was feeling that I still needed to do something. So I was able to go online on social media and I read several posts and I just replied to some comments of some people that were struggling in some way. And I did kind of some coaching in that way. So I planted a seed there. I don't know where that is going to go, but it just made me feel really good that I did my best to close my day and go to sleep. And in the morning, guess what? In the morning, I woke up with an idea about a butterfly. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. A butterfly, and there's so much meaning about butterfly. It's very spiritual. Have you seen um, and encountered butterflies or um, in your life? So what does that butterfly make you feel or what does that inspire and if you're in the comments, if you are commenting there, I'm not sure if I'm seeing that, um, those comments, but write down any comments that you feel uh, uh, when you're watching. Um, have you seen butterflies? What is a butterfly resonate with you? What is the first thing that comes to your mind? Write in the comments when you see a butterfly. What meaning does it make you think about? I would love to hear that. So for me, I felt that when I was going through menopause, I really needed to connect spiritually. I was feeling very, very disconnected and I didn't know how to connect spiritually and what to do, but I knew that I loved butterflies. And one time when I was growing up, I, I was able to experience this, um, the monarch butterflies that emerge and they fly all the way to Mexico City thousands and thousands of miles um, they fly to go to a warmer climate to lay out their eggs and then go back to the cold climate to Canada right so this was beautiful it's I if you have read anything about the monarchs they come and they cover the entire trees and leaves and it's all colored orange because it's all these butterflies but there's so much meaning behind a butterfly. A butterfly, what does it mean? It's like it's colorful, it's spiritual, it's freedom. It's freedom to uh, fly, right? And that for me was something that I wanted. I wanted to feel that sense of, of uh, free spirit, of joy, of freedom, of connection, of just doing whatever I wanted that was going to be helpful. And menopause took me to this kind of dark moment to go inward and to really learn uh, about what it means to do internal work, which I didn't know, but it took me one step at a time to start learning that real connection to myself. What was that? What was I missing? What was my empty emptiness that I felt in my heart and in my soul and that I needed to connect, even though my family, everything outside apparently looked good, but inside I felt something that I needed to reconnect. So butterfly, I, um, I divided this word and also related to menopause. So if you divide the, if the translation of butterfly in Spanish is mariposa. So listen to my pronunciation, mariposa. If we divide that in two words, uh, mari and posa, it's like menopause. But mari is like marry, marrying ourselves. Would you marry yourself? So that is what I started to create, m creating a new relationship with myself so I could kind of feel that I could marry myself, that I started to like myself again. And... Posa is posing, like posing or pausing in life. So menopause is making a pause in life to reevaluate, to notice, to see where you're at with um, in life. But what happens is that menopause just uh, takes us to feel like we're out of the ordinary. We're kind of crazy. We're feeling impatience. Our relationships are unstable. I'm getting red cheeked here because with the winter and the light uh, changes of, of weather, it makes me uh, very colorful. So I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay with this red cheeks. I'm just kind of 
this um, weather, ch climate, climate control. Yeah, we're, we're in cha changes of weather, right? Um, so that happens. Well, and it's also red cheeks like menopause um, and having hot flashes. It's not a hot flush, it's just a weather changes. I'm past that hot, hot flashes. So I feel that a lot of the struggle, since we are not understanding ourselves in the 40s, 50s, how is our relationship with our partners going to be understand, understood if we don't understand ourselves? So it is our job to learn more about this transition, to learn about this uh, what is going in our minds, what is going in our body, and start to build a new connection with ourselves. And so we are less patient and our relationships start to be in conflict and we don't know how to wrap that out. But guess what? It's not about the other person, it's about learning about yourself, how to adjust to those changes so that you can relate to you more and then you can relate to others better. So many of us want to feel free and we're feeling stuck in our emotions and are all over the place. So lift up your hand and say, who is here feeling like moody and patient uh, with crisis of relationship? Which of these words resonate with you? Write on the comments, please. So for me, a butterfly means freedom. It also means free spirit and remember, that the butterfly that is beautiful and free and flying once before was a cocoon. And it first was a, an egg, right? But then it was a cocoon and it had to patiently grow its wings inside. And all of a sudden it was already ready to burst, but it was growing. It took time to grow inside to learn. And then it had to break through that those barriers of the cocoon so that slowly with pain because it's like giving birth with pain to spread the wings wide to start flying so why are we so afraid of going within learning about ourselves emerging again going to uh, going inside as a cocoon so that we can really relearn patterns relearn habits and understand ourselves so that slowly we can spread our wings again and then fly and fly higher than we have ever flown. So that is a little bit about the purpose of coaching. Whether you go to coaching with, uh, with me or somebody else, uh, depending on the area or the level or the thing that you want to improve in your life, coaching really is a transformational and a very simple way for you to understand and create the changes that you want in your life and to really bring more of you. So become the best version of you when you go through a coaching program. So I really um, uh, recommend you to be looking into coaching if you're going through a struggle in life and you do not know what to do, where you are and where you're going that can help you really define, become clear and understand what are the steps that you have to go through. So a butterfly again uh, for me is freedom. And then what does a butterfly do? When it's finally flying, it still takes its time to pause in different flowers, enjoy the beauty, um, suck in some of the honey from the, the flowers. So you have heard that phrase that, um, stop and enjoy the flowers, right? And, and stop and see the flowers. So the same as a butterfly, it's already free, but it's making its pauses to go through. So this is going through the struggle of menopause is unsteadiness, just, it just takes time to retrieve, to do inner work and go out to become a beautiful and free version of you. So make a pause, to become a better feeling woman that you deserve to be. And that is what my coaching helps you with. It, it, whatever you are needing, but especially in menopause, that is such a big transition in life. So tonight I will be doing a Zoom uh, workout with another friend who is um, energy coach and she does silent counseling and she has led me 
through um, experience of of the body knowing their emotions and how to let go of our emotions. Something that is really fascinating is that sometimes we're carrying some emotions that are not even ours. They're from past generations. And when we recognize those and we let go of those emotions, it's such a relief that you can start feeling more like a butterfly, like you feel freedom, freedom to act, freedom to say, freedom to heal your body, freedom to be the person that you want to be. But we are held back like hostages by these emotions that sometimes we are not even understanding. So with this exercise is very, very simple. And we do not need to dig into years of therapy to understand those. Um, she will lead us through this exercise that will be very, very powerful. I really recommend for you to sign up if you have not signed up yet. The link is um, down below. And you can sign up and we can chat about that. And you will be so happy that you were participating in this. So, as we said, I was saying in this meeting to, this morning that I uh, attended a meeting, I said when we don't make time for what is most important, which we think sometimes that we are not worthy, that we are not important, but guess what? You are. You're very, very important. And what you do and how you feel matters. and matters so much that it impacts everybody and everything that you do every single day. So making the changes, making the time to invest in yourself is important so that you can be the version of you that you want. And just to end this conversation today, I want you to see a monarch butterfly as a sign of upcoming change or a new direction in life. And perhaps um, due to their long, their monarch, um, their long miles that they travel, like 3,000 miles, it's an immigra a migration journey. These butterflies may also be like an inspiration sign of strength and endurance. And what else do we need more than today to be strong and endure for the crisis that we're going through, through whatever tr life transition in addition to what this crazy economy is doing to us, right? We need to have that strength and that certainty that there are certain things that we do that we can control that nobody's going to control us not this not the economy not our spouses not our children not our boss we are in control of ourselves and we know that when we know that we bring more or better to life too so with this i let you um, continue with your day thank you so much for listening today and I hope you join us tonight at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time to come and, and, enjoy, and enjoy this exercise with us. And if not, we will meet you sometimes, sometime soon. Uh, I hope that we are going to be doing this workshop um, along the year several times so you will have another opportunity. Let me know in the comments if you want to attend so I can send you the link or if you want to participate in a future event that um, we are going to be to doing together. So with that, thank you and happy Wellness Wednesday. I Many blessings for you today and for the rest and for the happy holidays that are coming next week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.